So, okay. So today, uh, the topic is SAP Marketplace and ticketing tools, right? Ticketing tools and what is our uh, action items on this one here? SAP, so Marketplace here, SAP Marketplace. So to log into the SAP Marketplace, SAP Marketplace means SAP related anything, either SAP softwares or license or so whatever it may be, SAP related anything. So license, documentations, keys. So open the connection, close the connections or anything. So we have to do it using the SAP marketplace here. So to log into the SAP marketplace, so it means it's like me.sap.com, that is the site, or support.sap.com, or the support.sap.com. You need you need SAP use user ID. You required SAP yes user ID is required here. It starts with the yes triple zero s double zero or triple zero. It starts with the, this one and there is a number here. Using the yes user ID, we will log into the SAP marketplace here. So who will provide the SAP marketplace here? So your uh, organization, your company will provide the yes user ID to you. So based upon this S user ID, customer specific S user ID, we will log into the here. So normally, what are the activities we do here? So we will create a ticket, ticket, create a ticket to SAP. SAP, we will create the ticket to the SAP in case of if any issues. Also, we will, we will uh, like, we will open the, we will register the, register the systems into SAP marketplace here. Then license generation. Then migration keys, keys, license keys, object keys, developer keys, all those will come under here. So then register the systems, is a ticket, ticket to the SAP. Then documentation, you have the documentation documents also available here in the service marketplace. So they are the multiple things like open the connection register the open the connection open the so voss connection to sap voss connection to sap so close the connection to sap open close then register the systems so they are the so uh, licenses that we discussed keys object keys developer keys documentations so they are the and maintenance planner generating the XML file that we discussed, right? Those are the things. Then downloads, software downloads, right? So there are the number of things we can do it is in the service marketplace here, right? Here, our main scope is the creating the ticket to the SAP here. So in case of if any issues with the our system, normally what exactly will happen? SAP team. So we are the organization we are the customer one organization we are supporting to the this sap systems we are supporting right here they are the sap systems we are supporting here so and also we purchased the license we purchased the softwares from the sap here right these are the sap here sap is the our vendor software vendor sap so we purchased the sap software vendor here so, but here our network is different, SAP network is different. So software vendor means definitely they will give the support to us in case of any issues with our SAP systems or softwares. So they will provide the support, right? So here while providing the support to inform to them, we need to create a ticket. We need to create a, we need to register a ticket here. That is called the OSS ticket, OSS message. So normally we will call it ticket. We will call it the OSS message and it will generate the one request number. So that request number, we have to work on that one, right? That is called the OSS message here. Using this OSS message, so we will raise a ticket with the SAP here. But SAP, first of all, before that, we need to register the our systems into the service marketplace here. Then only SAP knows how many systems we have, what are the licenses we have, then uh, remaining things, keys, all those things, they will check it out. They will log into the our system remotely, right? How they will log into the remotely means there is a router concept in our SAP systems. There is a router concept here, router concept here. We have the router concept here, router, SAP router concept here. 
so what is the router means all our systems all our sap systems we will maintain in the router all our sap systems we will maintain in the router side we will maintain it here so in case of sap support person in case of sap person they want to connect to the our system so then via router they will connect to the our sap system they will connect to the our sap system here via router so why because is sap is in the different network sap network so we are in the different network here so both the how they can access they cannot access so that is the reason why because why they need to log in to the our system means so in case of if any issues any errors as part of the troubleshooting any issues or any errors as part of the troubleshooting here sometimes they may have to log in to the our systems they have to log in to the our systems here so that is that purpose only so in that case in that case they have to log in to the our system so then in this case how they can log in so from their side they have some tools they will log in to the our system via router why because in the router details router will securely will allow the connections to the uh, from sap to our sap systems here why because sometimes they will ask us to upload the logs we will share the logs but sometimes they want to log in to the our system do the troubleshooting log in to the our system and troubleshooting here so in that case what we have to do we need to use the sap router concept and open the connection and close the connections and so that one we have to do it here right so how to do that one right how to do that one open the connection and the router entries how to maintain here router is the one of the small service here so there we have to maintain you have to download and there is a procedure for router installation we have to download and we have to install it we have to maintain all our details into the router so that so if a sap person wants to connect to our system we have to maintain but our system connection should be open then only they can log in to the our system here system connection should be open then only they can log in to the our system here then only they can log in to the our system here so if system connection is closed so how can they cannot log in so while raising the ticket based upon the priorities right while creating the ticket we need to clearly provide the details like what is the priority of the tickets priority so priority so priority of the ticket here we have the priority like so very high priority so high priority so medium priority and low priority so very high means it's a p1 situation p1 priority one situation p1 calls means sap immediately they will open a bridge call or we have to open the bridge call we have to so do that one zero to four hours or what is there is the sla period we have to fix it out high priority medium priority low priority also here so then p1 p1 ticket only there is a business impact system down situation only system down production system is down situation only we have to raise the p1 ticket business is impacted system is down you are unable to as a business consultant we are unable to fix the issue so then immediately we need the assistance there is another level support is called the sap sap will support us so for that one we need to maintain the oss connection then they will log into our system they will fix the issues here that's what we have to do it here in the systems right very high priority so then high priority medium priority low priority there is no need to maintain it here also also so we have to open the connection which connection they have to log in so we have the types of connections are there here r3 connection http connection putty connection means ssh connection then rdp connection remote server they want to log in they want to log into the linux they want to use the browser based url they want to log into the sap system through sap logon pad so then snc there are the number of connections are there whatever they want to log in we have to open the connection we have to create the ticket right so how to do that one how to to perform we need to log into the service marketplace and we have to do all kind of work here right so how to do that one now right so let me why because i am so so suppose if you want to open the system connection one connection you have to open it then uh, we have the types of connections are there here plus symbol we click it out we have the http connection r3 connection vnc hanam there are the many connections are there here right so if you want to close the connection just click on the close the connection here in the actions tab 
we want to open the connection just click on this button then so connection will be so opened so close and open we can do it here close and open so we can do it in the systems here right so and also we can maintain the system data user id credentials everything we can do it in our let's discuss apart from the service only less activities here ticket raising register the systems a license keys these things we will perform it downloads this one everybody knows right so apart from that we have the service uh, like ticketing tools ticketing tools here so in 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 other this is the sap related ticketing tools suppose internally if if our functional team having some issues they will call they will contact us via email or ticket development teams users they will contact us here that is called the ticketing they will use the ticketing tool procedure here to raise the ticket here there are the multiple ticketing tools in the market here one is the service now snow and remedy and citrix so clarify so there are the uh, many things are there here remedy so citrix clarify so and uh, so yeah there are a lot of things are there lot of sm7 service now itsm service now it sorry service now already there then itsm so then so they have the multiple ticketing tools are there in the market here so any ticketing tool we have to rate you have to option like create the ticket here under respect to team which team you want to create the ticket you have to provide the description what is your issue give the provide the subject line provide the brief about the your, your issue and everything once you provide it just to provide the all the information like which team you want to raise it what is the priority same here also we have the priorities are there here priority so priority priority of the tickets are there here here also we have the so p1 ticket then p2 ticket then p3 ticket here so then p4 ticket we have the ticket priorities are there here so p1 ticket same as like here also system down situation production system in any issue they will raise the p1 ticket here so we have the sla time like zero to four hours we have the sla time here we need to fix the so response time resolution time we need to do that one right so p2 ticket is the four to eight hours is the resolution time in this in this hours time we need to fix it p4 is the so one hour two days we can fix it out like medium priority this is also one or two days p3 p4 ticket very less priority so you can ignore it later also we can fix it because not much important but p1 p2s are very important so they have to prioritize the tickets and we need to fix the issues here right once the ticket comes we need to acknowledge it within the 30 minutes once the ticket comes you need to acknowledge it otherwise there is a the response time will breach response time will breach it here then after that we can perform the so our analysis updating the logs and bridge calls so what is the issue how to fix it all all the information we need to update it here so yeah, every yeah. ticket there is a response time here the response time we have to update it why because customer will have the some response time depends upon the company we have the for this ticket you need to fix this many hours and this ticket you have to fix this many there is a agreement we will choose it with sap based on that we need to fix the all the issues in our sap systems here okay so we need to fix the issues so service now or any ticketing tool we have the issues here so you need to remember the process wise also sometimes during the interview point of time they may ask you the process wise also here in case of sap so you, uh, how you how will you get the tickets what are the ticketing tools what are the priorities what are the SLA response times in your company so do we have to explain it for every error every issue you need to create a ticket so based upon the ticket only it will come to know management come to know how many tickets you have worked on the one month what is your so efforts all those things they will calculate here without ticket you cannot do anything here so same as like here so this is the daily errors we will raise the incident tickets like same as like we have the change tickets also available there is a problem management ticket also available right P problem tickets problem ticket change tickets and also there is a so service tickets there is a service based tickets here problem tickets and service based ticket here service tickets here so normally incident tickets will starts with the inc 
okay incident ticket starts with the inc and a number one two three four five something like that so change tickets will starts with the chg change tickets any changes you are doing in the production system or upgrades or planning notes transports or anything you need to have a change request number here change request number should be created right problem ticket so pbi problem incident problem like on something like that problem ticket we have to create it here so this is service tickets means ritm ritm means the efforts based on what adopt request here so change ticket any changes which are going to the production that is called the change request we have to create it here either parameter change system down anything which is going to the production that incident ticket means daily errors and issues are the incidents incidents are issues here so if the issues are repeating uh, frequently repeating every day we are getting the frequently then we can create the problem ticket here one problem ticket we can create it we can fix under this incidents all the incidents we can fix it here problem ticket okay ritm means ad hoc request open the service request close the service request here moving the transports all are come from the service request only so it depends okay there are the types of tickets these all are the types of tickets in our sap systems here types of tickets here types of tickets ticketing tickets here so incidents daily errors issues and everything change tickets suppose any changes you are going to perform like note implementation parameter changes transports moving to the problem production then so this kind of work change tickets we can follow it here so upgrades refresh so these things are the change tickets there is no sla for this one problem ticket if the issues are repeating continuously yesterday today day after tomorrow all the day we the repeat same errors are coming then problem ticket we have to create it we have to fix the issues permanently then service tickets here so ad hoc based open the rfc connection close the connection this is a service request ad hoc based request we can create there are four type of request here any ticketing tool we have that priorities so like priorities are there and uh, when the types of tickets are there here so which you should remember all those things so what about the change ticket types of ticket they may ask you sometimes non sap related questions so you may have to answer these questions and everything here okay this is about the ticketing tool ticketing tools here okay so that is about the small concept